Okay, so time to get down to business on these control arms. I'm going to be grinding these rivets out, putting a one inch spacer in there. And when you do that, it gives you two inches of drop at the wheel. You're not flipping those upright back over. So let's do this. Okay, next up, I'm going to drill these from the bottom side because they're not coming out the other way. They're not too thick anymore since I cut the heads off of them. Yeah, I'm wearing two different gloves. Because I swear to you, all I can find is right hand padded gloves. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I have like five right hand gloves. Uh oh. -uh. I hope that wasn't what I think it is. I hope that wasn't what I think it is. All good, thank goodness. There we go. There's one. Now to repeat that for all six. I haven't even pulled the other side off yet. But I'm gonna knock these out real quick, switch to the next little bit size, so on and so forth. So, we'll finish that up once we get there. See how we're going. Should be good, I hope. And then I should just be able to knock it right off. I hope, we'll see. Okay, it's done. A ton of drilling later, a broken eighth inch bit, which got stuck in one of the rivets. But I cut the head off, I popped it out, it's, it was crazy. Anyway, got it off. I'm gonna take this to the ace. I don't know what size bolts they are. I think I do, but I'm not just gonna go wing it because with my luck, I'll get the wrong ones. We're gonna get some washers, bolts, washers, nuts, one inch spacer, call it a day. Did it on the Chevy. Literally drove with it like that for, on the 54, I drove with it for a year. And on the 51, I drove with it for like, I guess three years, I don't know, there's a video on my channel of when I did it. But it was like three years, four years, something like that. No problems. I hit a curve with the bottom plate a couple times because it was so low. But the dropped uprights would do the same exact thing. And I'm thinking the steering arm is still going to be, the geometry is still going to be right with this plate lowered. I didn't have any problems on the Chevy. And it's just about the same setup. Steering is a little bit different, the linkage, but it should be fine, I think. And if not, I'll just take these out and just bolt it straight back up and I'll just run the Aerostar springs and take the two inch blocks out of the back. But we'll see, I don't know, we'll figure it out. So, off to find the bolts, off to get some square plate. That is, let me find my tape real fast. Got 14 tapes, I can never find any of them. An inch wide. It's exactly one inch right there. So I'll do one by one. 
probably solid tube or solid uh, stock. A lot of people use thin walled tube because when the spring's on there, it's pushing down on the plate, so it's not trying to compress it. But when you jack it up by the A arm, it is trying to compress it. And I don't want any collapsing or any, you know what I mean? So, I'm gonna go get some solid stock at the uh, Amish place tomorrow. And come home and drill it out because they'll charge way too much to drill it for me. It's gonna take me an hour to drill them, but whatever. It's gotta be one inch by what? An inch by nine inches. Just about an inch by eight and three quarters. <clears throat> Eight point seven five long one by one and it's soaking directly in. And there we go. I need four of those. I'm just gonna probably buy what eight and three quarter, eight and three quarter, that's seventeen and a half. I'll probably just buy a long stick of it and bring it home and cut it on the saw, save it from having to cut it, and then I'll drill it out. But here's part one, part two, soon to come. I'm only gonna film one side because it's the same exact thing on the other side. And then flipping the upper, getting attacked by something, not anymore, killed it. So a wasp or something on the floor, or on the light that was buzzing around, he tried to get me. Had to give him the pop, pop. Got him. All right, anyway, part one, part two soon to come.